guys. Brandon Chapin, your fearless leader here. We're going to go over the programming for the first week of December. Guys, this is a big push towards the holidays, towards the end of the year. This is the time to stay focused, stay on task, um, and don't forget Saturday, the AM, PM throwdown. So we're going to get more information out to you this week. You're just going to pick a partner, someone you don't know, have a little team workout, and then uh, have a little fun for a Christmas party that evening. Um, we'll send out an email with all that information. Uh, but if you have some other friends, too, want to come check out the gym, now's the time. So on Monday, we're doing five sets of five back squat, all four of the sets at the same weight. So pretty challenging. We're going to start a new strength cycle coming in January to get a little more focus. Right now, we're trying to maintain and just uh, hang on till the, through the holiday season. And I've got a little little tester here, 30, 20, 10, kettlebell swing burpee. So whew, that'll be quick, short, sweet, and great little, great little tester. Um, and then we're going to go to Tuesday, hang clean. So from above the knee, we're going to build to a max. Now, if you're fairly proficient at hang cleaning and you want to work on the squat clean, I would encourage everyone to do that. There's some people that I think really need to take uh, the next step and they can they could definitely use some work on that. So use that time for this. And yeah, you might have to take a step back in your clean, but you might take a step, two steps forward. Then we got a little, another little 30, 20, 10 hang clean toe to bar. This one's going to take a little bit longer. If you have tape, I would suggest bring it to tape your thumbs for the hang cleans. If not, we have it available at the gym. I just don't want you to rip your thumbs. And the tape will really save that. And then on Wednesday, we have 20 minutes to build to a split jerk. You may use a rack if you're doing the Santa series, like I said before, taking it from the floor, really working on that. Um, if you haven't registered, go ahead and do it. I think there's a few spots left. It's in two weeks. Then we got a six minute AM wrap, 10 pull ups, 10 dumbbell thrusters, 50 pounds. No, that's not a, that's not a typo. It's a grind. If you can get six rounds, whew, good for you. All right, then on Thursday, little recovery work for the legs. Kettlebell front squats, really trying to work on, you know, maintain that core. This is way more challenging on the core than traditional front squats. Get you stronger in that midline stability. And then we got a little EMOM of 15 wall balls. Five ring dips, even odd. Now, if you can't do the ring dips and you can't do the straight bar bips, I want some really good hand release push-ups, just that push move movement. Really, if, if, if you're really having to put a lot of band on the dip, then I don't think that's what you need to be working on. I think you just need to be working on push-ups. Uh, I mean, don't make it more complicated than it needs to be. You just got to get stronger upper body strength relative to your body weight. So if you're really having a hard time getting it out of the ring dip, I just say... Hand release push ups. And then I'll guys for Friday. I'm going to change this real quick. So we're going to do two 10 minute AMRAPs. It is going to be 10 minutes of Cindy, five pull ups, 10 push ups, 15 squats. Rest three minutes. And then you're going to do 10 minute AMRAP of five dumbbell push press, five dumbbell rows. So left, right is equal to one. Uh, excuse me, left, right is equal to two. That's what I meant to say. And then 15 sit-ups. Now, you can't anchor your feet with the dumbbells. So, and don't forget Saturday AM, PM challenge. I'm not going to show you guys that workout because we want you guys to sign up. It's going to be something that everyone can do. All right, thanks so much. See you this week.